Hello ladies and gents, welcome to DuckTales. Uh, this is a game, you know, based off of the TV series from the 90s DuckTales, starring Scrooge McDuck, the successful treasure hunter businessman who has three cubic acres of cold hard cash and apparently needs to go treasure hunting to get more of it because, you know, he's part of the 1% but he doesn't care. Um, his three nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, come to stay with him for a while while uh, Donald's off to join the Navy to see the world, and um, I, I thought this the cool little concept of a show, there's a lot of humor in here that's, you know, cartoonish, but it's still funny, even even today. Um, let's go ahead and get right in. I'm going medium, because I'm horrible at this game. Alright, um, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so, you know, one bomb doesn't work. I don't, I don't remember there being this many big Beagle Cut. Boys, I thought there were just the three. Maybe they're just, you know, there to be scattered throughout the map. Alright. Here we go. Off to save my money. Alright. Pull up on our... Limo. Purple limo. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. You know, it's kind of sad to realize that a duck dresses better than you. Because, I mean, he's got the cane, he's got the hat. Man, I think his shoes are better than anything I'd wear. And, um, <laughs> this game is funny because, you know, you just collect money, and even though you've got the money vault full of it. Hmm. Oh, Huey, are you all right, my boy? Huey's yeah, trapped. Oh no. Although he's probably you small enough, can he? He can probably just fit through the bars, right? Oh. That was a hammer. Um. Again, it's that cartoonish humor that always gets me. Hey, don't forget about me, Uncle Scrooge. Eh? Oh, 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 oh! Don't worry, lad. I'll save you. All right. Okay. So yeah, the pogo jump. <laughs> All right, that was random, but yeah, why not? Oh, now that's what I call a stomachache. You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder. Oh, Thanks, yeah. Scrooge. You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? Well, we saw the Beagle Boys going into the money bin. We? Sure. Yeah, is that even a question? Of course, if one of them's here, the other two are here. All right. Well, we gotta go save our nephews and our money. Can't let, you know, any of them have our money. Alright, here we go. Let's climb up here. Um, oh, treasure chest? Alright. So obviously, more money. So is that is that it? Is this just, you know, get money, get to the end of a level? You know. Scrooge is such a... Oh, here we go. Um... You know, I mean, <laughs> the concept of this game is funny because, you know, he already has, like, enough wealth to get him through life. He's an old man, so, you know, he should be retired, and, uh, how do I, how do I get up there? Oh, there we go. Um, he should be retired. I, I messed it up. No! Ugh, that pains me. But, um, as I was saying, he's, you know, an old man. He doesn't need that much money, but he has it. He's in fighting fit health. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Oh, it's. Who's this? Stewie! Big time. Oh, that's like the, their boss, I remember. Hmm. So yeah, um, alright, so does it, does it really matter which one I hit first? Oh, oh wait, oh, alright. Oh, okay. I did matter, because I needed to attract him over there with the burger, so that's funny. You saved me, Uncle Scrooge! I did. Are you hurt, lad? Nah, I'm fine, but I saw Louie heading up the stairs with about a thousand beaver boys right behind him. Stay here. I'll handle this. You know when he uh, tips his top hat forward, it's about to get real. All right, let's go. Let's go save our nephew and our money. 
All right, let's see. Uh, let's come up here. All right. All right, I want, is there anything? Yep, there's something over here. And probably over here, too. Yeah, there we go. All right. And, oh, there's another. Oh, I, I wonder, can we get? Oh, there we go, yeah, here we go. Okay. So there might be more money on the other side, too. Ah, there we go. All right. Now we're in business. No, I probably missed a bunch of... I, I did miss a bunch of money because I missed the two treasure chests back there. All right, I'm failing as Scrooge McDuck. He wouldn't have left till he got it. Uh, all right, looks like I need to just do that. There we go. Look at that. Get more money. We broke 300,000, and... Um... Oh, okay, here we go. I can just jump up here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Nice. Nice. All right. Broke 400,000. Oh, oh, crap. All right. There we go. All right. You ready? Ah. All right. Just run. Just run. So, like, does Scrooge really need the cane? Because he can, like, jump really high without it. And, like, I mean, he jumps with it, but, like, I don't know. Oh, no, I guess he doesn't actually use it. He kind of just holds it, and then when he's standing, he just kind of has it in his hands. Hurry up, the Scrooge! They're headed for your office! My office? No. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, Big Duck. We're running things around here now. Cuss me, Kilt. You know, it's kind of interesting about, um, uh, oh god, what's his name? The, the boss, Spiegel Boy. The head honcho. Um, in the TV series, I, I think I remember he had a cigar, but, um, I don't see it here. And I wonder if that's because, since this is the remastered, remastered version, it's more, you know, kid, fe kid friendly. Um, I don't know. Interesting. I feel like we should have a cigar. All right. Well, now that we have all of our ducks in a row, ha! Huh, that's uh, one pun. I'll, I'll stop now. All right. Um, let's go save our money now that we have the the nephew saved. All right. Let's go. Okay. Now, what's over here? Oh, it's uh, away the, from me, the head honcho one. Uh, big time. time. That's right. Duck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, so I can't. I, I'm assuming that means I can't. And I'm already, okay. I'm already at one health. All right. Oh no. Okay. Uh, can I hit him with it? Oh no. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Alright, so I just gotta do that enough times in a row. Ah! Dang it. Alright. Well, now I got three lives. Or, uh, three hearts. That's good. Um, avoid that. <laughs> Alright, so we just gotta do this a couple of times. It's kind of tricky because you don't really know where it's coming from. I don't know, maybe there's some certain indication he gives before he throws it, like what direction it's going to go. But I feel like it's just reaction time, which I mean is still fine. But I like the... Wow. It, you know, you, you, I don't care if you're wearing a helmet. You, I feel like if you got hit with a safe five times, you, you would have been done the first time. But again, it's a cartoon, so... All right, and he still doesn't have a cigar. Yeah. Kid friendly and all that. Beagles, I say. All and right. In the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable. I love how the the painting just disappears. Well, me pin feathers. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys, boys. What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? What did yeah. you find? What is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new hmm. crypto analysis program. Okay, so supercomputer, are we going back to the mansion? Is there like one there or oh. Oh. Okay, there <laughs> All right then. Um cuz you know every every successful businessman has a supercomputer under his desk in the floor. 
And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only a Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. I agree, Dewey. Yeah, I agree. One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's All right. another one in Transylvania. And one like, there ten miles hmm. underground. Hey, okay. wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure. Something right. screwy, Dewey. Yeah. And Louie and Huey. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Um. To get there, we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. Oh, we're going to the moon. That escalated quickly. Um. What are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover What are we waiting for, Scrooge? This is a good question. All right. Um. Well, let's see, we can go to the Amazon, we can go to Transylvania, the African mines, Himalayas, and then the moon. That was a big escalation. Um, what's over here? Oh, is it? Oh, of course it's the money vault. So I want to, like, see if it... Oh, and he dives in, too. That is, that is clever. Oh, and he swims around. Oh, man. Look at our happy little duck. Just swimming around in, in his wealth. I, okay, but what's the size of this thing? Yeah, I feel like I don't care how much of a cartoon you are, you would have died on impact there. Jeez. <laughs> this is just really clever. I I quite enjoy this. That's really clever. I love the animation when he dives down too. I love the animation for this whole game. Like this just seems really well done. I love it. It feels kind of simplistic, I, I, but I feel like that adds to it. I love it. This is nice. This is a nice game. I like it. Alright, well, um... That's as good as place as any to leave it off here. Uh, thanks, thank you, uh, ladies and gents, for watching my first playthrough of DuckTales. And uh, I'll see you next time.